Ethiopia calls for a friendly solution to the border problem with Sudan. Ethiopia, very concerned about the recent developments at the border with Sudan. Gunmen kill more than 100 in western Ethiopia, writes Body. Ru AF Tupolev 2 154 M from Moscow Shkolovsky descending to land in Abu Dhabi. Call sign RFF 7878 Reg. RA 85155. United Nations, we have not been able to prove that Iran has transferred missiles to Libya. Libya photos of Turkish advisors training GNA fighters in the Omar al Mukhtar training center in Tajora SE Tripoli. Seems to be an unusually large emphasis on handguns in recent images. The Turkish parliament approves an 18-month extension of the tasks of the Turkish forces in Libya. Putin and Macron in a phone call discussed Karabakh, Donbass, Libya and Syria. Rada Airlines new Ilyushin Il-62MGR freighter Reg EW505TR heading west out of Cairo, Egypt, RDA1411. UN says Mladenov unable to take up role as UN Libya envoy. Russian Foreign Minister, we must intensify efforts to achieve peace in Libya. Italian Foreign Minister, we have restored relations with the Libyan army after the release of our fellow fishermen. GNA reinforcements to Western Serta Axis. GNA pushing reinforcement to Western Serta. LNA claims in preparation of an attack.
According to military sources in Misrata 1, convoy is moving to Abu Ghraim not Serta 2, does not intend to break ceasefire WLAAF The forces moving east insisted ceasefire agreement to open road between east-west preconditional on Russian mercenaries first leaving Jufra. Libya GNA forces raising the level of alert to repel any possible movement by LNA forces west of the city of Sirta. Libyan Government of National Accord forces say they have spotted increasing crowds and fortifications of Haftar's forces around Sirta and Jufra. Four point one M earthquake in Idlib. HTS holding the journalist Abdul Fatah al Hussein at the Ghazawiya crossing in Aleppo countryside. The General Security Agency of the Headquarters for the Liberation of al Sham is carrying out a raid and arrest campaign against a number of figures suspected of promoting reconciliation with the Assad government in the town of Marat Misreen in Idlib countryside. The recent military movements of the pro-Assad forces have reinforced the fears of residents of Gob Plain, west of Syria's Hama about renewed military operations in the area. Pompeo, sanctions on individuals and entities related to Syria are caused by supplying weapons to the Assad government. Movement of Turkish Army in Northern Syria Turkish army intensified its attacks on Ain Issa and in vicinity of Ras al Ain, Sarakaria. Images emerged of deployment of military convoys and movement of Turkish troops and its proxies in Ras al Ain, Sarakaria on December 20. U.S. Treasury sanctions announced against Asma al-Assad's wife of Syrian fascist dictator Bashar al-Assad, immediate family. U.S. Envoy for Syria Affairs Joel Rayburn, the policy that we follow towards Syria is the policy of the United States, not the policy of a party, and this policy is based on three goals, achieving safety in Syria, defeating ISIS and al-Qaeda, and withdrawing Iranian militias. U.S. envoy to Syria, Iran must withdraw its militias from Syria. The SDF has captured a whole shipment of weapons that they attribute were going to be delivered to cells working with Turkish intelligence. لحن وجيب عطريا طريقة عاقة عيا وراء الدرجونة والدرجونة فتيا الدرجونة الدرجونة عسكرينا وراء الدرجونة عسكرية كي كين بار فاض وراء ويا النمرة يسار هنا آه يسار يا ذكر وانا ام ام 16 ام بي 4 تيم كابد ايكي كبر 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 On Monday, the Syria's Ministry of Health announced that the new coronavirus toll has risen to 10,318, including 4,835 recoveries, 621 deaths, and 4,862 active cases. South Syria, today a former rebel who joined the 4th Division element was shot dead by gunmen in Dara province, in front of his house in Yududa. Yesterday no less than four pro-Assad fighters were executed.
The SDC called on both Washington and Moscow to stop the Turkish continuous violations of international law. South Syria, attacks continue tonight. An IED was detonated in Sanamain and Dara, while in Adraf Est Kanitra, gunmen fired at a group with state security elements, killing two and wounding a third one. The Turkish Ministry of Defense announces the neutralization of several SDF elements in northern Syria. KRG asks U.S. forces to deploy along Kurdish-controlled part of Iraqi Syrian Kurdistan region northern Syria border. Syrian Observatory, five pro-Assad forces fighters and nine ISIS were killed in clashes in the aleppo Hamaraka Triangle. Commander in the SDF was shot dead by unknown persons in the town of al Saur, north of Deir Ezor. Russian Air Force AN-124 RFF 9911-9927 heading south over the Black Sea. A military convoy of Russian forces left the city of Deir Ezor towards the city of al mayadeen The National Coalition, we consider the new package of sanctions to be an important part of the pressures in support of the rights of the Syrian people, and that it represents an escalation against the government aimed at stopping its crimes against civilians and obliging it to the political process in accordance with Security Council resolutions. Kanitra, two members of the pro-Assad forces were killed and another was wounded by gunmen. Shelling at Jabal and Musharifa by the Turkish Army and TFSA right now. Clashes are taking place between the Turkish forces and SDF at the Ain Isa line in the north of Raqqa. Climbing out from Latakia Air Base Flag Ru Flag Ru Russian Air Force 2 154 RA 85042 RFF 8661. Meetings between local clans leaders and U.S. military commanders in Hasika and Deir Ez Zor. The military factions repel the third attempt to infiltrate the SDF on the village of Al Musharfa, north of Ain Issa, in the countryside of Raqqa. ISIS attack in progress near Muqtadiya in Five Bridges area. Imam al-Baqi Mod PMU reporting mortar strikes. First time Iraqi PM labels rocket attacks on Green Zone as terrorist, main, official, Shia militias disowning and rejecting the attack made Kadimi's change of tone easier. Iraqi PM Mustafa al-Kadimi says some suspects have been arrested over last night's rocket attack on Baghdad's Green Zone. PM Kadimi mentioned in the latest press conference that a group of suspects have been arrested in connection to the Green Zone strikes. Iraqi PM Kadimi, we made arrests last night and confiscated a number of rockets which stopped a second attack on Green Zone. Now airstrikes on Badish Range, northwest of Mosul. Kasim Jibarin Cell just claimed two IED attacks against logistics convoys in Babel Governorate. No comments from Iraqi media yet. Bomb damage assessment currently in progress on Badish Range after last night's airstrikes against the ISIS dens. Two police were injured following an IED blast this morning near Abu Sahida in Diyala, one of the injured is an officer. The blast took place specifically near Mukisa village which is known for ISIS activity on a regular basis. Joint Operations Command, we are working to secure the Iraqi border with Syria.
Iraqi security forces start an operation in Zafarinaya neighborhood to find those who launched rockets toward U.S. Embassy in Baghdad. Iraqi Army, 12 ISIS militants were killed in a military operation west of Mosul. Iraq bans travel from the UK, Japan, Iran, South Africa, Australia, and Belgium, and any other country that the Ministry of Health specifies, as measured against new coronavirus strain. A commander of Iran-backed PMF militia detained by security forces due to recent attacks against U.S. Embassy in Baghdad. Secretary Pompeo, a pleasure to speak with Iraqi Kurdistan Region Prime Minister at Masroor underscore Barzani and to thank him for his steadfast partnership. We remain supportive of media freedom in Iraq and look forward to our continued close cooperation under the U.S.-Iraq Strategic Framework Agreement. The Kurdistan Region announces an agreement with the Baghdad government on the 2021 budget. ISIS released photos about this attack, claiming he was a member of tribal PMF. The incident took place within Dibis subdistrict. The locals are on an armed civilian status, not tribal PMF. KRG asks U.S. forces to deploy along Kurdish-controlled part of Iraqi-Syrian Kurdistan region northern Syria border. Two more M16s seized by Imam al-Baqi Mod PMU defense mobilization during an operation on Hamran Range in Diyala today. Patrol from Imam al-Baqi Mod PMU struck an IED near Muktadiyah, resulting in one fighter being severely wounded. Trump pardoned participants in the Baghdad massacre. Head of CENTCOM tells at ABC News over 20 rockets were fired at the U.S. Embassy in Iraq on Sunday, saying it was an escalation as it was the largest such attack since 2010. An Iraqi army operation kills a senior ISIS leader and arrests others in Abu Ghraib. Iranian media, FAS News Agency have released the final footage of the Qasem Soleimani assassination at Baghdad International Airport, Iraq.
U.S. President Donald Trump met with senior national security officials at the White House to discuss options for deterring Iran from attacking American assets in Iraq. Qasim Jibreen claims two attacks on Iraqi contractor convoys in Babel. Top U.S. national security officials agreed on Wednesday on a proposed range of options to present to the president aimed at deterring any attack on U.S. military or diplomatic personnel in Iraq. Reuters Axios website, Washington is considering closing its embassy in Baghdad after a series of missile attacks on the Green Zone. Donald Trump, our embassy in Baghdad got hit Sunday by several rockets. 3 Ra Launch. Guess where they were from, Iran. Now we hear chatter of additional attacks against Americans in Iraq.